Sexual politics refers to the study and analysis of power dynamics, social structures, and cultural norms related to sexuality and gender. It involves examining how sexual identities, desires, and behaviors intersect with issues of power, inequality, and social change. Here is a summary of sexual politics. Gender and power. Sexual politics explores how gender roles and power dynamics shape and influence relationships, social structures, and cultural norms. It examines how societal expectations and stereotypes about femininity and masculinity impact individuals' lives and experiences. LGBTQ plus rights. Sexual politics addresses the rights and struggles of LGBTQ plus individuals, including issues of discrimination, legal recognition, and social acceptance. It advocates for equal rights, protection from discrimination, and the celebration of diverse sexual orientations and gender identities. Reproductive rights. Sexual politics includes discussions around reproductive rights, such as access to contraception, abortion, and reproductive health services. It examines how reproductive choices are influenced by social, political, and economic factors, and advocates for individuals' autonomy and agency over their own bodies. Consent and sexual violence. Sexual politics emphasizes the importance of consent in sexual relationships and raises awareness about sexual violence and harassment. It challenges victim-blaming attitudes and works toward creating a culture of respect, consent, and healthy sexual relationships. Intersectionality. Sexual politics recognizes that issues of sexuality and gender intersect with other dimensions of identity, such as race, class, and ability. It acknowledges the unique experiences and challenges faced by individuals who navigate multiple marginalized identities. Overall, sexual politics aims to challenge oppressive structures, promote inclusivity, and advocate for the rights and well-being of all individuals, regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity. It seeks to create a more equitable and just society where everyone can express their sexuality and gender identity freely and without discrimination. Kate Millett was a feminist writer and activist known for her influential book, Sexual Politics. In her work, Millett analyzed the social and political aspects of sexuality and power. Here are some key points from Kate Millett's perspective on sexual politics. Power Structures and Patriarchy Millett argued that society is organized in a way that gives men power and privilege over women, creating a system of patriarchy. She examined how this power imbalance affects various aspects of life, including sexuality and relationships. Sexual objectification. Millett criticized the objectification of women in media, art, and popular culture. She discussed how women are often reduced to sexual objects and how this perpetuates gender inequality and reinforces patriarchal norms. Gender roles and societal expectations. Millet explored how gender roles and societal expectations shape individuals' behaviors and experiences. She examined how traditional gender norms limit people's freedom and perpetuate inequality, emphasizing the need for gender equality and the dismantling of rigid gender roles. Sexual liberation. Millet advocated for sexual liberation and the freedom of individuals to express their sexual desires and identities without shame or oppression. She challenged societal taboos and restrictions around sexuality and called for a more open and inclusive understanding of human sexuality. Feminism is a political movement. Millet viewed feminism as a political movement aimed at challenging and transforming the existing power structures and social norms. She encouraged collective action, activism, and consciousness raising to address gender inequality and sexual oppression. One of Kate Millett's notable arguments in sexual politics is the concept of the sexual hierarchy and its impact on power dynamics and social structures. She argues that sexuality is not solely a matter of personal choice or desire but is deeply influenced by societal norms and power differentials. Here's an example to illustrate her argument. Example. In sexual politics, Millett examines the institution of marriage as a site where power imbalances are reinforced. She argues that traditional heterosexual marriage perpetuates a sexual hierarchy wherein men hold dominant positions and women are subordinated. Millet suggests that marriage historically served as a means to control women's sexuality, ensure male paternity, and maintain the social and economic advantages of men. She points out that within the marital context, women are often expected to fulfill gender-specific roles and duties, such as being homemakers and child-bearers. This expectation places women in a position of dependency and restricts their autonomy. 
Millet further highlights that women's sexual desires and needs are often disregarded or overshadowed by male desires and pleasure. Through this example, Millet presents an argument about how the institution of marriage can reinforce gender inequality and perpetuate the sexual hierarchy in society. She challenges the notion that marriage is solely a matter of personal choice and demonstrates how it reflects broader power dynamics and societal norms. It's important to note that this is just one example of Millet's arguments, and her work covers a range of topics and perspectives within sexual politics. Exploring her writings directly would provide a more comprehensive understanding of her arguments and the evidence she presents to support them. Critique of Patriarchy Millet examines the concept of patriarchy as a system of power that oppresses and subordinates women. She argues that patriarchal norms and institutions perpetuate gender inequality, restrict women's autonomy, and reinforce male dominance. Sexual Hierarchy Millet introduces the idea of a sexual hierarchy, where certain forms of sexuality and sexual expression are privileged over others. She critiques the societal norms that dictate what is considered, normal, or, deviant, in terms of sexual behavior, and how these norms are used to control and marginalize individuals. Objectification of Women Millet critiques the objectification of women in various aspects of society, including media, art, and popular culture. She argues that reducing women to objects of sexual desire devalues their humanity and contributes to their subordination. The personal is political. Millet emphasizes the interconnectedness of personal experiences and broader political structures. She argues that personal relationships and sexuality are deeply influenced by societal power dynamics and therefore require political analysis and intervention. Liberation through sexual revolution. Millet advocates for a sexual revolution that challenges traditional gender roles, norms, and expectations. She calls for sexual liberation, where individuals are free to explore and express their desires without shame or judgment. Lesbianism and female bonding. Millet explores the potential of lesbianism and female bonding as a means of resistance against patriarchal structures. She suggests that by forming connections and alliances with other women, women can create spaces of empowerment and challenge dominant power structures. Intersectionality. While not explicitly using the term, Millet's work recognizes the intersections of gender, race, class, and other social categories. She acknowledges that the experiences of gender inequality are shaped by these multiple dimensions of identity. These points provide a general overview of some of the key ideas in Kate Millett's sexual politics. However, it is important to engage with her original writings for a more comprehensive understanding of her arguments, as they contain more nuanced discussions, evidence, and examples.